So I had this idea of making a heart, but not a static one. I want a mechanical heart. I want this thing to beat. So in order to do that, I'm going to use a motor. I'm going to make a couple of mechanics on the inside. And I make this quick design just to have an overview of how the final design is going to look. First, I'm going to work on a couple of prototypes for the mechanics. And after that, I'm going to move on to the electronics. And of course, at the end, I'm going to make the final design of the case so we can sand, paint, and see how that turns out. So this is the first prototype. I think it looks really nice. It has a lot of components, a lot of bearings, and it's, the motion is really smooth. However, I think it has too many components. All the clamping is uh, to the axis is made with screws because I don't get, I don't receive the, the couplings yet. But other than that, it's, I think it's a good start. All right, this is the second prototype. Um, mm, mm. I don't think I'm going to print this one. I believe this is a little bit overcomplicated and yeah, now I'm going to move to another prototype. Third prototype, this is much, much simpler, which is a good thing. I already got the coupling, so there are a lot of less screws, meaning yeah, less parts, less things can go wrong. Now, I know this design might be a little bit on the bulky side, you know, it seems a little bit too strong for the function it was made for. But I prefer to make it that way because if in case you push it or just you push it or drop it off the way, or maybe even you, for example, leave this cable hanging and your dog decides to bite it and pull it and it falls for one meter, it will still perform the function. Here I am working on the electronics. I'm moving all the circuit from the breadboard to a smaller board, a green one. And this is uh, for it to fit on the final case, which everything is going to be inside along with the mechanics. Otherwise it would be too big and too bulky for printing. After that, I cut the board into its final dimensions with the Dremel really quickly and then updated the design in order to make sure everything fits. Okay, so there is a small step back. I took into account the final position, not the installation, so it's, it's not able to fit in here because I don't know if you can see this, but this small part, which is where one of the studs is going, are going to be, one of the screws, it's it's in the way, so it's it doesn't really it's I can I cannot put it in the in the correct position. However, I do have one of these. They are pretty similar, but they are not the same. This is more square-ish, and this is more round-ish. So. Um, I'm going to be filing these corners. Uh, I have a couple of files here, so it can be, uh, you know, it can be positioned a little bit easier, and also to match this small kind of tab I put here, and this is supposed to be here in the bottom part, so it can, you know, resist a little bit the movement and not leave everything to the glue. Okay, we have another issue. See this. See this hiccup? What is happening here is that I knew, I knew this was going to happen. I just left it for later and forgot about it. The thing is, when this part is turning, it pushes the left side before the right side because it's not symmetrical. And the thing is, we only have three linear bearings on the right side and not at the left. So maybe if I put three linear bearings on the left, they should be, you know, uh, pushed up at the same time. However, this will be too much work, the deadline is really close. So what I'm thinking is to prevent this inclination when they go up, I can add these kind of walls here. So the blue parts, which are the ones that push the, the hearts up, are going to slide. And this will prevent the inclination, at least in the bottom part, which is the one that is causing, causing all the trouble. So the new part is done. These are the walls that hopefully will work. And we will see.
Okay. Now it's, the mechanism is all assembled. Tell me works. Tell me works. Yes. Sometimes this is a little bit jumpy, and the reason is because there's some rough. Stay there. There's some rough edges still on the, on the, on these small kind of lifters. So yeah, I'm going to sand them out, and that should be that should be good. So all the components are ready for sanding, and then painting. Let's get to it. We have everything for assembly. We have the Arduino. This this cable broke because of all the movement in the tests, but it's already with each other, so everything is fine. The electronics, mechanics, and of course the parts are already sanded and painted. They actually look even better than in the video. This is going to look so good. I can't wait for assembly. So if you get to this point, please like the video because it's really going to help the channel. And let's see how it turns out. Finally, this is the final assembly. Everything is ready. All the parts fit perfectly. And the combination of white and soft pink, I believe just works really great. And uh, by the way, I coated everything with uh, matte finish because I didn't want everything to shine too much. That was the purpose from the beginning. But yeah, I'm really happy with the result. Uh, all the edges are really soft. However, if you pay attention, there are a couple of scratches here and there. That might be the way of how I put the, all the parts to dry after painting. But yeah, I can, I can get better in that. And of course, the motion. Look at that heartbeat. I think it looks amazing. The fact that it moves, it just gives it a completely different touch. And these three hearts, the white ones, uh, reach different heights. So that gives it a much more natural look. And of course, it looks amazing from any angle you see it from. So that is it for the video. Thank you very much for watching. Next up, I'm going to be making stuff from games, from movies, or random stuff like this one. So if you are interested in seeing that, please subscribe. And also let me know in the comments what would you like to see next. But under one condition, it has to have some kind of movement or motion because it just makes it look so much better. All right? Thank you guys, and I will see you in the next one.